Hi there. Now, while it certainly is a challenge to find the best tools that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source like our channel to point you in the right direction and show you the brands you can trust. Now, in preparing this list, we reviewed literally dozens of products and we based our rankings on a number of factors, including the features of the product, value for money, and the reputation of the manufacturer. We even read countless reviews from actual users. If you choose from this list, you can be sure you'll be buying one of the best tools available today. And make sure to check the product links down below in the description. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Allison, and on today's Hot Tools How To, we're learning how to use the hair dryer to get more volume out of fine hair. Start by spritzing a heat protecting leave in conditioner. Then, you're ready for the new Hot Tools Signature Series Hair Dryer. While your hair is still damp, let's give it a quick full blast to fluff up your hair and add texture. Continue until your hair is about 80% dry. Now, put the concentrator on, which is included with your Hot Tools Hair Dryer, and use your round brush to set the volume in the crown. This will help to lock in volume. Once your hair is completely dry, top it off with a quick spritz of hairspray. There you go! Even fine hair can be full. All it takes is you and the Hot Tools Signature Series. The Dyson Supersonic Hair Dryer is engineered so that you can adjust the heat and airflow for different hair types to protect against extreme heat damage. For thin, fine hair or short hair, use low air and low heat. For medium density or textured hair, switch to medium air and medium heat. For thicker coarse hair, use high air and high heat for better results. For very damaged or colored hair, use low heat and adjust the airflow based on the density of the hair. When using the diffuser, adjust the heat to match the density or damage level. For highly textured hair, or hair you're trying to manipulate, use high heat and adjust the airflow based on the hair's density. And with all of these hair types, don't forget to use the cold shot button to really lock in that style and shine. The Fold and Go Dryer from Andis offers big 1875 watt performance in a compact, lightweight design and uses nano ceramic and ionic technologies to shorten drying time and create smoother, silkier hair. The three heat and speed settings plus a cool shot button help lock in your style. The Andis Fold and Go Ionic Dryer also includes a concentrator that helps direct the airflow to a particular area, providing greater control of the drying process. 
The convenient folding handle makes it perfect for travel or for storing in tight spaces. And with the push of a button, the retractable cord makes using and storing a breeze. I'm going to take you from wet to dry to create a big bouncy style using the Revlon One Step Hair Dryer and Volumizer. Starting with wet hair, blow dry each section. To ensure the blade dry lasts, curl the section and pin it to the head. Once the hair is cool, unpin from the head.